Hey everybody, I am back again with another toy review. This time it is a, another set from Jazzwares uh, Pokemon series. This is a battle figure set. Um, and in this set we get Treco, which is at the top here. We get Mimikyu there, which is an awesome character. And a very awesome character, Absol, one of my favorites. And my reason for buying this uh, package of characters here. I purchased this at uh, GameStop. Um, I believe other places have them as well. I think like um, Walgreens, but I think it's like a single figure maybe, not a three pack like this. And these are a little more expensive around like the $15, $16 range um, because of it being a three pack. But you know what? I don't care. I get three figures I want, you know. So uh, also in this series, uh, Halucha. Absol, who do we have here? Ivysaur, which I've never seen anywhere. Uh, Machop and Snubble, Apom and Pikachu, uh, Dino and Vulpix. Yeah, let's open this up. And like the last couple ones I've reviewed, it comes with a little, little checklist inside of some new figures. And I ripped it as usual. <laughs> There you go. Got some stuff that's out as well, some of which are in the set here. Uh, I tend to just like throw whatever figures in these sets. They don't really have any rhyme or reason really going on with them. Um, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, if you don't have these Pokemon, you know, and you're good to go. So let's uh, check out Treco first. Uh, paint on the eyes a little sloppy and that's uh something myself and others have mentioned a bunch of times um with this company is that their figures they're doing a lot of cool stuff but uh these basic line figures aren't that great uh, like you can see joker's head here the plastic has a big knot in it from the like molding process or whatever the, the line is there uh, this side of the paint is really good sucks they couldn't get both sides good uh, belly and the mouth paint are really good uh, tail paint very good uh, tail looks like a separate piece of plastic glued in to his butt area um, the legs are connected to the midsection um, the head is glued on as a separate piece as well you can see unfortunately these little guys they do not move at all if you try doing that they would break it's unfortunate um so other companies are able to do with these little guys i just wish jazzwares would step it up and give these little guys a little bit of articulation instead of them being like little pvc figurines oh no this one's really nice this mimic you um really nice job on that there's a little bit of smut like here on his forehead not quite sure what that is. And there's a dent. You can see that there. Um, and some kind of weird glue mark on the back of the head, which I couldn't see in the packaging. It's not too big a deal, since I'll mostly have him facing this way or that way. So I'll be having facing facing backwards. Um, this thing has all kinds of stuff going on. I'd be very careful if you get this figurine. Um, the tail is very thin down here, and if I move it slightly, it's a softer plastic. It looks like it's going to break off, so, um, let's see. The paint down here on the eyes is good on the body. Um, do, do, do. paint on the ears is pretty good. Uh, paint, paint on the tail is good. Um, and then the, uh, under half of the body is, uh, I can't tell if it's painted black. I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it's painted black. And then it's plugged in. Uh, it doesn't move or anything. It's just plugged into the bottom. There. Uh, there. And the, oh, and the head is another piece also. And it's glued in. It doesn't move. Again, I would think they could at least do that is have the heads move. But they don't do that. They save that for these uh, larger figures. Beautiful Absol. Absolutely. When I saw him, that's what I said. <laughs> so we got that. The tail. Again, got some weak area here in the tail. You see how it's cracking there. Uh, paint is very good. Um, he has articulation here. It's like a ball joint. 
so it rotates really well. Uh, face is a separate piece of plastic, like plugged in there, so that's neat. And so is the horn on the head. All of it's painted very well on the face. Um, the legs just move uh, back and forth here. They don't have any real good rotation, but they do go up pretty, pretty far. Um, and all the claws are painted very well. Um, same thing here. Actually, a lot of the articulation on these smaller figures uh, from Jazzer, they kind of remind me of like old school Fisher Price figures. Um, if you remember those, I'm probably showing my age a bit here. Um, but yeah, there's not much to this. Uh, it's very nice. Um, he's definitely the best in this little set here. That's okay, because he is the main reason I purchased this. So, not a lot to say about this set, but that is about it. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Until next time, have a good one.